Well, Xbox Lockhart Specs. Last week we missed this. This was five days ago. Yes. Uh, we all know the rumors that there's an Xbox. There's a second Xbox coming out. Mm -hmm. The rumor Codename says Lockhart. So it's going to be a cheaper version yes. of the next gen Xbox. And it's codenamed Lockhart. Uh, according to Games Radar, Lockhart specs may have been revealed after the latest documents leak. And there's an update. I think I need to read the update first. The Xbox Lockhart documentation. Uh, also, this is an Xbox One controller. Yes. Excuse you. We have. We know what the Series X controller looks like. Yeah. The Xbox Lockhart documentation leak has drawn out some new details on what kind of hardware it may include. The leak of documents created for game developers included reference to a Lockhart profiling mode. According to anonymous sources cited by The Verge, this op option is included in Series X developer kits to let creators test their games against the lower performance specs being targeted for Lockhart. Those specs reportedly include... A 7.5 gigab gigabytes of usable RAM. Uh, you need to pull up what an Xbox One S specs are or something. One S? Yeah. And X. Do it all, Will. Okay. 7.5 gigabytes of usable RAM, a slightly underclocked CPU speed, and around four teraflops of GPU performance. Is that an X? That's what the One X has, oh, I think. Where's, just give me the Wikipedia page for it, because I know that has the specs. As compared to Xbox Series X's target for 13.5 gigabytes of usable RAM and 12 teraflops of GPU performance. Recent rumors indicate that the Xbox Lockhart price could be half that of the Series X, so those reduced uh, hardware capabilities could be com uh, accompanied by a significantly smaller hit to your bank account. Those same rumors also point to Lockhart finally getting its big debut at the Xbox 2020 event in July. So hopefully we'll have some more solid info about the much-leaked uh, console soon. All right, what specs do you want to know about the Xbox One? So, the the Lockhart is rumored to have 7.5 gigabytes of RAM. What do we got on the Series S? I mean, I'm uh, sorry. God damn it. The, the, the One S. The One S. The One S has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM with 5 gigs available for games. And the X, oh, so this is usable RAM is 7.5, so it's still a little right. more than the S. Okay. The X has 12 gigs of DDR5, Ooh. GDDR5, with 9 gigs available to games. Okay, slightly lower. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the lock card slightly lower. All right, how many teraflops is the is the one X? Mm, of course, that's not what Wikipedia. How would Wikipedia know? That was like the big deal when that came out. I know. Well, the One X uh, is six teraflops. This is four. Okay. So it's yeah. a slightly underpowered Series X. Yeah. Uh, damn it. It's a slightly underpowered <laughs> One X. So this sounds like if you have an Xbox One X, you're pretty you, there's good. There's no reason to upgrade. Yeah. Especially if Lockhart allegedly doesn't have a disk drive. Yes. Which is a very big possibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. So th this this seems like a pretty substantial console. Uh, this this is my this is my take. They are announcing this. I mean, there's a rumor. It's a rumor that they're announcing it in the next in the next July event, which is apparently happening at the end of July. Um, I think they're going to announce it there because they're also going to announce the price of the series X and it's going to be expensive. Yeah. So they're going to be like, but hold on. Cause if you don't want to spend that much money, here's this guy. And then what'll be funny because what they won't tell you is that the one X, cause that's now technically a last gen system will probably be even cheaper than Lockhart, but still be slightly more powerful. I don't know. You think they'll keep selling lock uh one X systems for what is it, four hundred dollars? 
I, well, it was five when it came it out. It was five. Now it's four. I've seen it for like three. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. See, because it's a very expensive. The the one yeah. X. Um. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense to be cheaper, but they it might just be the same. Yeah. There might be other things about the uh, Lockhart. Well, I'm that, ass- I'm assuming Lockhart will have like the you know solid state you know NVMe true. drives and all true. that crap. Yeah, like that yeah. would be a big benefit, uh, mm-hmm. but it might be discless, which would mean yeah. if you want discs and you want it to be cheaper, this the the one X might still be a good option. There might be, uh, well, I'm sure they'd both be 4K. I don't know. I I, I don't want to. I don't know what they would do with the one X afterwards. Yeah, they might discontinue it pretty quickly. I don't. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Here's the original. That was only the update to the story. <laughs> the original story says Xbox Lockhart has resurfaced in documentation that solidifies its existence as a com- complementary console to the Xbox Series X. I hate my life. A security researcher who goes by Title OS on Twitter posted a couple of snippets from the June version of Microsoft's core game core development kit notes which are available to developers, but not typically to the public. The notes mention Lockhart profiling modes alongside Anaconda profiling modes, all as part of the development kit for Project Scarlet. So Anaconda is the code name for Series X. Lockhart is the code name for whatever the hell this thing is. Right. And Scarlet is just the next gen, right? I think so. I think so. No, that, it wasn't. No, Scorpio was 1X. Correct. Yeah. Anyway, more proof of Lockhart, this time coming from XDK GDK release notes for June 2020. And it's just the, the exactly what he said. No, before. Scarlet was Series X. E, what's Anaconda? I think Anaconda Series X. I think we're learning that Scarlet we thought was the Series X, but is actually just a blanket term for the next gen stuff. Xbox Series X. Xbox Series X is an upcoming home game console developed by Microsoft. It was announced at E3 2019 as Project Scarlet. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was my brain just Xbox Series X is an yes. upcoming home video game console developed by Microsoft. So what is what is Anaconda then? Uh, wait. It was announced at E3 2019 as Project Scarlet and is scheduled for release in late 2020. Mm-hmm. Anaconda is not coming up. Well, from The Verge December 2018. Microsoft's next gen Xbox is codenamed Anaconda. Mm-hmm. Well, th- there's a it, there's it's not in this article, of course, but th- there's an Anaconda on the. Uh, they always like etch in uh, like a like a little symbol, like whatever the yeah. the code name is, onto the board of the next gen uh, of of the console itself. Uh, the Series X has an Anaconda on it. Yeah. So the Series X is Anaconda. According to this article, the notes mention Lockhart profiling modes alongside Anaconda profiling as part of the development kit for Project Scarlet. So Project Scarlet, I think, is the blanket term that has Anaconda and Lockhart. Okay. Both. Okay. I got it. All right. You got got it. it. Figure it it out. You got to the bottom of it. All right. Scarlet. Project name for a family of next generation consoles. There we go. Anaconda is the Xbox Series X and Lockhart is something else. We got there. There you go. We got there. Detectives. All right. Anyway, uh, it's all but confirmed at this point that Anaconda is the internal Microsoft. Oh, my God. We could have just read like an extra sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Anaconda is the internal Microsoft codename for Xbox Series X, while Project Scarlet refers to the company's overarching plans for its next-gen console generation. Next console generation. Oh, you don't say. You don't say, Games Radar. 
Lockhart is allegedly a lower price alternative to Anaconda slash Xbox Series X with less powerful hardware and no built-in disk drive. Uh, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, the Title OS, previ- Title OS previously shared some code from the back end of Windows that pointed to Lockhart. We saw that in the previous Wolfden Live. Today, they retweeted another data miner who spotted references to Lockhart in the Xbox One operating system. Uh, we don't need to look at that, but we can just take his word for it. This is Billy H. This is B-L-L-Y-H-L-B-R-T on uh, Twitter. Though Lockhart has been showing up in leaks for quite some time now, Microsoft has still yet to officially confirm it with less than half a year between now and the holiday 2020 launch window for Xbox Series X. Microsoft could always launch the console later down the line, giving Xbox Series X more time to stand on its own. On the other hand, Sony recently revealed that it will launch the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition at the same time as the disk drive bearing version, which was a surprise to all of us. We had no idea that was going to happen. We'll have to wait and see if that influences Microsoft's overarching plans. It's also possible Lockhart's just the diskless version, but it sounds like it's an actual underpowered version. Yeah. Which would put them in a really good place in the market because it looks like PlayStation's not going to have something like that. Yeah. If anything, the discless PS5 will only be slightly cheaper, whereas this looks like it's going to be significantly cheaper because it's a significantly different system. Right. Um. Yeah, so I I think that... I mean, Sony seems to have problems with pricing. That's the rumor is that is that yeah. they, they don't know what the hell they're going to do with the pricing and that's why they haven't announced it yet. Yeah. Um I think that Microsoft knows what they're doing. Uh and I I already thought that they were going to have a better price than the PlayStation 5. Yeah. Uh I think that Lockhart's just going to it's kind of like a they got an extra piece on the board, you know. They they they're, they're going to it, it it puts them in a better position, yeah. Already, just right out of the gate. Um, but we'll we'll see. I th- I think Sony's waiting to hear what they and what they price it at before they make any moves. I don't know. I feel like Sony maybe because the whole thing is because they had to find out ways to dissipate heat because that was their big problem, and the mm-hmm. fact that they're using NVMe drives is like driving up the price. So they might just be forced to announce what the price is without having to wait for Microsoft. Uh, Also of note here, Xbox Wire tweeted, Xbox is proud to reveal that our Summer Games Fest demo event will be live on Xbox One from July 21st to July 27th. So they're going to have demos uh, for Xbox One. So I'd imagine around then sometime we're probably going to hear more about uh, Lockhart and Series X. Uh, We'll have more than 60 brand new game demos for upcoming unreleased Xbox games available to check for free. See, this is what we got to do with conventions, man. We got to just do this. Forget forget gatekeeping all of these demos. Just make everybody play them. Who cares about data mining? Yeah. These are not normal game demos. Typically, the demo you see in our demo channel are created after the game is completed or nearly completed and represent it, represent the final version. Many of these demos are early. And so, okay, we get it. It's a freaking, it's a demo. It's a demo. Oh, wait, they have some already. <laughs> Christ Tales? What? Chris, Chris Tales? C-R-I-S Tales? Where are you? I I don't, I, this, I didn't put this in the keep here. I'll put it in okay. there right now. It's at the top. Uh, there's also Destroy All Humans, uh, Haven. That we know that game. Mm-hmm. That's coming to Switch. Hellpoint, Skatebird. Hell yeah. The Veil. Vale, Raji in Epic in Ancient Epic. Welcome to Elk. Okay. That's what those are the games that they highlighted. But there's they said more than sixty. 